back in June 2007, the Solomon crew got together in Annecy, France, and the purpose of the meeting was to come up with a program that complemented the ski media that was already out there. Two months later, we found ourselves down in Portillo, Chile, and Solomon Free Ski TV was born. All we really want to do is take you into the world of the Solomon team. We're going to do some athlete profiles, we'll go behind the scenes at some of the big contests, travel to some of the most exotic locations in the world, and ski some of the best mountains. Heck, we might even throw in a few daffies. All we want to do is make sure you learn something, have a good time watching, have a little extra stoke to go out and rip it up every weekend. Here's a little tease of what's coming up. Early on, we realized that the ski world is full of inspiring stories and we wanted to try and tell some of them. Like I say, we have good camaraderie up here. You know everybody. We have such a good bunch of friends to ski with. It's everything you'd expect in a bulletproof, pink marble clad Soviet presidential mansion. Could you get the thrill of your life and feel truly alive if you knew they were perfectly safe? I'm not a ski racer. I'm a free skier. This is my dream. This is what I want to do and I'm not going to be fully satisfied until I give an honest effort to it. Every good story needs compelling characters, and we've met some amazing characters along the way, from guys like Josh Duick to Andreas Franzen, uh, Jared Allstar Haynes, our rapper buddy from New York, for example. I am the voice of Solomon Free Ski TV, Allstar, sure. And of course, the old folks at Whitewater Ski Area. You know, we asked our fans, who is your favorite character of all time in Solomon Free Ski TV? And the answer was pretty clear, Kai Zackerson. My favorite part of working on the show is definitely the exotic places that we get to travel and the awesome people that we meet along the way. You got the mojo? He's got the Jesus mojo, <laughs> but, but we're saying don't rely on that. Free skiing is a relatively young sport and it's kind of easy for people to forget about where we all came from. So we felt responsible a little bit to try and keep that history of skiing alive. And so over the years, we've, we've definitely looked back and way back sometimes into skiing history. And I think uh, ski is awesome. And we can kick snowboard ass easily. Not long after lifts started carrying people up mountains, free skiers started taking their tricks to the backcountry, charging steep lines and catching huge air. After all, it was all about progression. As soon as there were cars on the road, free skiers were jumping over them. And of course, scoring all the hot chicks at the same time. Now free skiing has always been about having a good time with your friends and showing off your best moves. Check out this indoor big air comp in New York City's Madison Square Garden in the mid 1930s. Don't believe me on the date on this one? When since the 1930s would someone have the balls to fly the flag of Nazi Germany at a big air comp? At the end of the day, no matter how good the story or action is, everyone just loves to laugh and see some crashes. Oh my no, 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 Kai. Oh, oh my god. god. Oh. Uh, landing is about five feet farther that way, bud. My worst dry safe experience. 
my friend lost a nipple. <gasps> and that's not a joke. All ideas are good to explore, even the craziest. My favorite thing, I, wacky idea, I'm pretty sure is when we went and skied on waves in Hawaii. We really have done a lot of crazy ideas on the show. We've gone skiing with electroluminescent wire all over our bodies. We've tried putting 30 people into action at once during the six seconds of Jib Academy. And we even did a full animated episode called The Man and the Mammoth. As producers, some of our favorite episodes are not necessarily the ones that are the most popular. And the one that stands out in my mind is our visual poem, Buelo. I've had a lot of great memories working on the show, from the Fire Festival in Japan to chasing Deep Pow in the Northwest. I'd say my favorite so far was working on the burn and seeing it come full circle. No matter how many wacky ideas we've come up with or stories or interesting characters, we asked the fans, what's your favorite part about Solomon Free Ski TV? And the answer was action and deep powder. This has probably been the most rewarding project we've ever got to work on and I can only hope that we'll get to do a hundred more. <laughs>